So if we have a look at our E-Trans 50 here, it's just powered by a 12 to 24 volt DC input. And then we've got a normally open and common relay, which I've got here connected back to our open input on the gateboard. And I'm also just powering this off the gateboard itself. So with the E-Loop commercial then, there's two methods to pair this up. If you bring it in close proximity to the E-Trans 50, it's just a matter of pressing this code button. And you see the yellow LED will flash and then the three blue on the code will flash to indicate that that's paired successfully. After this then, you just take the loop and place it in position and go through the calibration process. So our second option for pairing the E-Trans 50 to our E-Loop, um, if the E-Loop is placed further away from the transceiver, we can actually just press this code button you'll see the blue LED come on. Then it's a process of coming over to our loop. Once we're at our loop then, if you want to just place this little magnet on the code recess, you'll see the yellow LED will flash. That'll indicate the pairing process is complete. Also, if we have a look at the blue code light, it should flash three times to indicate this pairing has been successful. Okay, so once the loop is then paired to the transceiver, it's just a case of calibrating it. The loop is then in position. We place the magnet on our set recess. Watch for the red LED to blink twice. Remove the magnet. And the red LED will blink three more times. The calibration process has been completed at this stage. Now that the loop has been calibrated, we can go ahead and just test this out. Um, we can see here the gate is now operating and if you have a look at the transceiver, the red RX light should be on. So now that the gates are operating correctly, um, that's the calibration and pairing process complete and that's you ready to go.